Sustainable uninterrupted electricity is important in the delivery of healthcare services. According to the World Health Organization, hospitals require energy use for water supply, lighting, ventilation, and other clinical processes to operate optimally. However, many rural and public facilities in countries like Nigeria suffer from unreliable energy networks that impede healthcare provision. Available evidence shows that clean sustainable energy alternatives can significantly improve healthcare services. In Nigeria, these alternatives can increase the functionality of primary healthcare facilities. As of December 2011, there were about 30,000 primary healthcare centers or PHCs in Nigeria, out of which less than 20% are currently functional while the vast majority are run poorly. Over 80% of the Nigerian population live without access to grid electricity or with unreliable electricity. This dismal this figure is reflected in health facilities where 43% of PHCs are not connected to the grid. The 57% that are connected have to manage with less than 5 hours of electricity daily. Considering that PHCs are supposed to cater to the healthcare needs of most Nigerians, yet majority are in deplorable conditions. The WHO suggests that renewable energy plays an important role in improving health services if integrated at policy and operational levels. However, key health sector policy strategies, plans, guidelines, and laws in Nigeria fail to recognize the importance of uninterrupted supply of electricity in the health sector. They overlook the importance of integrating sustainable energy solutions. Take, for instance, the outdated minimal standard for primary health care in Nigeria 2007 to 2012, which prescribed a set of minimal standards for health infrastructure, personnel, drugs, and other medical consumables for PHCs in Nigeria. Although the minimal standard document considers the unreliable nature of electricity supplied by the grid. It, however, erroneously recommends as an alternative fossil generator sets, which have been proven to be environmentally and economically unsustainable. Not only do they contribute to air pollution, but the cost of fueling and servicing can also be hefty, which are mostly borne by already underpaid staff at PHCs. It may have been that at the time of developing a minimal standard, clean sustainable energy alternatives were largely inaccessible in Nigeria. However, a lot has changed since 2007 and sustainable energy options are now more widespread. The minimal standard for public health care in Nigeria expired eight years ago and now Nigeria needs to draft a new minimal standard guideline for PHCs. An updated guide should consider new technologies that also include energy storage technology, off-grid and mobile energy solutions. Some Nigerian states like Kaduna, Lagos and Edo are already taking the lead in providing renewable energy to PHCs and have partly executed successful electrification programs for healthcare facilities. In 2016, the Kaduna State Government, through their Solar for Health Policy Program, launched the installation of solar systems in 34 PHCs across the state. The overall goal was to ensure that each of the 255 wards in Kaduna State had healthcare centers with 24-hour electricity. So far, 2.4 megawatts of solar power have been installed and are operating at 34 PHCs and 13 general hospitals. Policy and legislative actions are needed to create standards 
for clean, constant electricity supply for PHC's facilities across the country and to put pressure on the subnational authorities, such as states and local government, to provide adequate resources to guarantee and maintain the supply of clean, sustainable energy for basic healthcare delivery in Nigeria. The ongoing legislative review of the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency Enabling Act, currently before the National Assembly, provides a perfect opportunity to incorporate sustainable electricity supply as a component of the PHC framework. The delivery of quality health services depends on three main components, health infrastructure, human resources for health, and service provision. Health infrastructure includes recommended facilities, water supply, sanitation, and staff accommodation. This infrastructure is required for human resources to effectively run and provide the needed health services. These three pillars stand on a foundation of sustainable, clean, and uninterrupted electricity supply. Emerging policies should therefore make provision for the electrification of all primary healthcare facilities to improve their functionality. It is recommended that the Federal Ministry of Health, along with the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, the Federal Ministry of Power, and the Rural Electrification Agency join hands with the donor community and civil society to facilitate an action plan for the sustainable electrification of 10,000 PHCs across Nigeria in line with one functional PHC per ward strategy. Without reliable electricity supply, PHCs cannot effectively deliver healthcare services and thus cannot function optimally.